Fact finds. Go to clients, uh, click on add a new client or go to the client list and you'll go into here. Now this is the client profile. You see this is the outside of the client file and inside there you get the client fact find. So you simply navigate to the current fact find and this is what you see on a daily basis. Uh, so if the client, you know, if the review date changes, whatever, you just change this, okay? Whenever you're finished with it, you press you press lock it, you press save or lock it. In fact, it saves automatically as you go along. You press save lock fact find. Okay, and if you do that, in here, you get it locked in a moment in time. Okay, locked by advisor. That's a really important moment when you're giving advice. That's when your neck's on the line at that point in time. But obviously, when you casually pick up a, a file and you want to know what, you know, where, where the current, where the client is, then you go here. If you go to con current fact find, you get obviously the husband and the wife. Now, a lot of people ask questions about how do you add um, partners or do you have joint fact finds? The answer is you don't have joint clients. You have individual clients and you can attach them. You can, so you set up a separate client called, in this case, uh, Foreman, and you either press remove like that, or equally you can click add and then choose a partner. Oh, changed partners. There you go. So that's fact finds. And over time, it would not be uncommon to have a client of 10 years standing to have literally 10 different fact finds updated as you go along as their own circumstances update. And obviously each time you get a cut in time, which is really important. Uh, finally, if you want to edit the questions on the fact find because you don't like our questions uh, or the way that it's set out or whatever, you go to, there's a separate video on edit client fact find and you can set up a separate your own personalized fact find. Very simple to do.